The Chinese last month unveiled the world's first digital currency from a major power, currency that would not be printed but would exist only in cyberspace on your phone, for example. Is the Fed working on a digital dollar? We are actually evaluating that. Most um, major countries uh, are now looking at, at the possibility of having a digital currency and really asking the question, in our very modern advanced economy with a, with a, a fast, efficient, full-blown payment system, would adding a, a, a digital currency, a form of digital currency, would it actually benefit the public that we serve? That's the question that we're asking. We're working very hard on that. We're also doing quite a lot of technological experiment. I mean, technology has made this a possible thing. And so we feel it's our obligation to understand it. How would it work? What would the features of it be? There are many subtle and difficult policy choices and design choices that you'd have to make. We're doing all that work. We have not made a decision to do this because, again, the question is, will this benefit the people that we serve? And we need to answer that question well. And we need to involve the public and Congress deeply in that process because it would be an important step if we were to do this. But given the fact that the final decision hasn't been made, you are doing, if I understand you correctly, software development, even graphic design, on what a digital dollar would look like and act like. Yes, we're doing lots and lots of work. We're, we're doing stuff jointly with, foreign, uh, with other central banks. We're doing things at the Boston Fed and many of the regional feds have little projects going on. Here at the board, we have uh, a group of people who are doing software development and that kind of thing. You know, this is really just table stakes. This is understanding the technology and the possibilities so that you can really address the policy issues. You think it's likely? I think it's possible, is all I would say. You've seen many other countries like ours, well-off countries like ours, that are looking at it seriously. In some of those countries, the use of cash has declined precipitously. That is not the case here. Americans still like to use cash. So it's, it's something that will be decided based on the situation here in the United States. Are you considering a digital dollar in order to compete with the cryptocurrencies that are out there already, like Bitcoin? That's not the principal reason, I wouldn't say. Uh, it is a fact that there are, there are private sector uh, currencies, stable coins and, and cryptocurrencies as well. Uh, those are not at a level or a scale that, that um, is concerning at this point. Really, it, it, really, the fundamental question for us is, if we add this, will that help the public? Will the pub public be better off? And will there be any negatives, too? There, you know, will, will that have perhaps unexpected effects in other parts of the financial system that we need to consider in weighing the costs and, and benefits of this? We're the, we're the world's reserve currency. The dollar is so important. We need to get this right. We do not need to be the first ones to do this. We, we want to get it right, and that's what we're going to do.